Matt, that's a very clickbaity title. I'll explain later. Demolisha. Today is a big day. Today is a great day because Annie is graduating preschool and going on to kindergarten next year. Annie's five years old. Today is her last day of preschool and I have been told that she will have a cap and gown and walk the stage today. I'll bring you along, give you a glimpse. It's gonna be awesome. Annie. <laughs> Annie, your mom and I could not be more proud of all you've accomplished so far in your life. We know that you're capable of taking over the world. You are destined for amazing things next year in kindergarten. I am here with the new graduate. Hi. Did you graduate preschool today? Mayor, are you crying? <laughs> Mayor said, <laughs> what did you say? How'd you phrase it? She was like, I never got this emotional about a kid growing up before. And I think it's because like when Addie was Annie's age, graduating preschool, we had two babies and we were just like, yep, like we, this isn't like going to end anytime soon. Like we have little kids, but now it's like our second one just graduated preschool and Lincoln is going to graduate next year. And we're kind of like, whoa, like our kids aren't little anymore. Like they're, they're going. Yeah. Mayor. It's gonna be okay. Annie, your mommy needs a big hug. <laughs> we have some stuff to do at the warehouse. I'm gonna get changed real quick and we're gonna take you up there. We've, we've made some big changes that I think are gonna be for the better. Mary, you're crying, it's messing up my video. <laughs> at the warehouse now, checking in with the boys. Hey, bros. Well, hey, Matt. I'm What's up, dude? Perfect timing. Oh, check out that guy, looking I'm, good over there. I'm glad you're here, okay. man. Are you guys just watching the warehouse, making sure everything looks good? Oh, here, Mayor, please. Yeah. Have a seat, sorry. Yeah. Speaking of sorry. warehouse, here you have a seat, man. Oh, thanks, you're the best. So, um... What's the sitch, guys? We need to know everything, and I, I brought the guys to, to, to tell them to. So we kind of talked to you a little bit. Okay, are you quitting? No, no, not today. Good. Um, so we... Maybe tomorrow. Am I fired? <laughs> we spent a little bit of money. It was, an, it was an investment. How much money? A lot of money. My money? Um, yeah. A lot of money. So... I was planning on buying like a Corvette this month though. Um, but I can show you what we spent money on if that'll make it any better. If it's guns, we're cool. It's not guns. <laughs> it's a place to put guns though. Yeah, I can hold some guns. It's easier to just show you. Look at her face. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to your brand new warehouse! We're adding on some new YouTubers, some more social media influencers soon. We needed room to make all that happen. Tell me what we got here, guys. This, this looks different than last time I saw it. So, we got a lot of new shelves, which will be filled up with brand new 4th of July shirts coming up. Hey-oh. Soon to come. Uh, also, we do need to um, apologize for those who ordered those. We got a little backed up on our Memorial Day shirts, but they're all coming very soon, and they're better than ever. You're gonna love them. This is a lot of shelves, bros. So we've got all these shelves that'll allow us to keep better stock and better inventory, so we're not running out of products on the website more often. Yes, and I like it. No more out of stock, that's a good thing. shelves to keep more blank so we can keep producing them at a faster rate. Yep. Safe to be over there making our shirts. So we reworked our fulfillment center to make it a lot quicker. So basically- We have computers all, now, look at these. All of our products. These will be your pickers, so they'll pick everything that's in the order, pass it down to these guys who work on the computers to scan and make sure we're sending the accurate items. Oh, so the pickers are on this side of the table, pickers the packers are over there. Scanner, and then there's packers, it's a three-step process. I love it. So pickers, we'll get the orders ready, pass it to the scanner, the scanner will then pass it to a packer, the packer will seal it up, so get it ready to go out. 
So what happens is it's going to scan the purchase order. It's going to show exactly in the computer system what's supposed to be in that order. Oh, cool. There it is. He has to scan the item, make sure it's good. Then he'll scan the shipping label to make sure it's going in the right place. And it says good. And, it says and if there's an issue, it says there's an issue. Scan the wrong thing, it gets mad at you. So far, I'm not mad about the money he spent. <laughs> what is? Why is there no number written here? What happened? Uh, we'll show you. Yeah, do you have that on film? We do. Recently, there's been a few issues. <laughs> happened right here. Steven, how's the old wrist from the skateboarding incident? <laughs> it's been better. Where is that skateboard? Uh, over there. Right there. Let me, uh, where? Let me just, uh, <laughs> let's just put this right. That's a lawsuit waiting to happen. We have not hung up the country's flags yet because we have so many. Don't send any more flags for now. Uh, I, we probably have every country. We have so many flags, so no more flags. Um, until I get everything like the count and I, I got to get an updated list because there's so many that we haven't even gone through them all to get an updated list. We asked for flags. You guys came through. Thank you, but chill. Just just chill for a sec while uh, we get an updated list together. So the whole goal of this thing is to bring on more creators and actually next month, sometime in June, we'll be bringing on our fourth, if you count me, fifth creator. It's a big channel. 3 million plus subscribers. We're really excited to bring this person on and I think you're going to be excited to see who it is when I can announce it. Place is really coming along, guys. So the creator we're adding next is Ready. They're just waiting on us. We're trying to get designs all finalized, we're trying to get the website built, a lot of back-end stuff just to get everything taken care of. But we're we're getting it done. This is super sketchy. I'm just I'm just walking up here on this. I'm probably gonna die. We're probably about to add to our uh, accident list. As long as we don't camera though, it's all good. What do you got? Hey, good boy. Come here. What do you got? Can I have that? Can I have it? Ready? Go get it. Yo, good boy. You good boy, dozy man. Just opening mail from you guys, and I got this. New York State. Bunker branding license plate. Super cool. Thank you, Steve. You the man, brother. Hey, Matt, I know you like doing videos with sound comparison on the weapons slash suppressors, aka silency things slash air rifles. Nailed it. And the camera struggles to adjust to it. I thought this might come in handy to help show the difference. Pat. Pat sent me a digital sound level meter. I've never used one of these. But this is super cool because when we do sound comparison videos, you can't tell because the cameras auto adjust the sound. They want it to not be crazy. And so if something's really loud, they make it normal. If something's really quiet, they make it normal. So this will actually be a definitive way to show you if it's quieter or louder. So thank you, Pat. You're awesome. W.J. Brian. He ordered two helmets. He sent these before we actually posted our helmet video on Demolition Ranch. So he had no idea, and now we have two more helmets. This is like a, looks like a Vietnam helmet. Um, I'll have to do some research. I thought that video was neat. You guys did too, apparently, because it got like three million views in the first few days. But 
we may have to do another helmet testing video. Mr. O'Brien, thank you. Super cool. Casey Neistat was recently asked a question and answered the question, is it worth now in 2018 to start a YouTube channel? All right, here's kind of a big question. Is it worth starting a YouTube channel now in 2018? My answer for that is yes. Mine is too. But if you were to ask me, can you make a living on YouTube now in 2018? I mean, the answer is still yes. I agree with you so far. It's just a lot harder. I disagree with you there, but explain. There are so many more very good, kind of high quality YouTubers that are on this platform with the purpose of, of making a living. And as the space gets more and more crowded, it just becomes more difficult to stand out. I agree with everything he said, but there was one thing he did not say. So YouTube, yes, is more crowded. Yes, there are more creators on YouTube in general. Yes, there are more creators on YouTube to make a living now, but there are also more viewers on YouTube and there's more viewers spending more time on YouTube. We're out in the chicken coop right now. I wanted to show y'all what I've been doing. I set up a different system here. So now the water comes in from the top there, from the top over there. So this is one gutter, this is the other gutter, dumps into this one. If it's coming too fast, it can go across and dump into this one. Same thing there, it can go both ways. Okay, just chill, just, jeez. And I used to have the overflow coming out of the top, but what I realized is this part that goes around the top, does not seal it perfectly, so we leaked out water everywhere once he's filled up all the way. So what I did is they have drains in the bottom that go out to the outside, but the drain also comes back up here, and I have clear pipes. So you can see our water level right there. So this clear pipe shows the level in this one, this clear pipe shows the level in this one. And once the clear pipes fill up all the way, they can go and fill up the other barrel. So for instance, the roof that flows into this barrel has a higher area than this barrel. So this one should fill up faster. So that will fill up all the way and it'll go up in here and then it'll run across this pipe and drop down into here and fill up this barrel. They can fill up from the bottom. That's how the system's been working for a long time. I promise it works. But if both barrels are full, it's not gonna go down here. They're both gonna be pushing up and they'll come up to this and then they'll drop down here and this is an overflow. So you can see this is lower than the top of our barrels. So once the water level gets to here, when the barrels are totally full, they will overflow out of here and this will all be hooked up against the wall once I'm done with it. And it'll go out there and overflow and dump onto the ground. So this is still something I've been working on. Still need to do a couple things to finish it all, but it's really close, very, very close. I gotta walk past you guys. Just don't freak out. These are the new chickens and they're real skittish and they also love being in the coop. So like all the other chickens are outside wandering around. These chickens are just chilling in the coop and they're all about to freak out when I walk past. Watch this. It's gonna be terrible. I got, I need to get to that. I gotta unlock though right here. I just gotta pull this thing. Y'all just chill. I, just chill. It's fine. It's fine. Back to the Casey YouTuber thing. Yes, there are more high level, super talented creators than ever before, but there's also more viewers than ever before. YouTube said that year after year, they get a 50% increase in viewership. I remember back when I started, I saw Shaytards making videos, Shay Carl, and Shaytards was getting like 200,000 views every day on his daily vlogs. And it was making the news. People were amazed by it. They were like, this guy's just making daily vlogs, getting 200,000 views. That's crazy. And everyone was saying, Shay Carl is something special. He's an anomaly. No one ever will be able to upload a video every day and consistently get 200,000 views. It was crazy. No one had ever seen that before. And then a couple years later, you have Roman Atwood. And Roman starts putting videos up. And Roman is putting videos up every day and he's getting like one to two million views on his vlogs. It was insane. Everyone was like, this is crazy, how, how is he doing this? Roman is an anomaly. No one will ever be able to do what Roman is doing. It's crazy. And then you go a couple years later, <laughs> and the bugs are everywhere. And then you go a couple years later and you have the Paul brothers, Jake and Logan Paul, and they're putting videos up that are getting like six to eight million views every day. And it's crazy, people are like, this is crazy. How are they doing this? It's not because Roman is 10 times better than Shay Carl. It's not because the Paul brothers are five times better than Roman. It's because there's more viewers on YouTube than there ever were before. My videos now get more than Shay Tards did, but that was way back then when no one else could do that. Now everyone's doing it. And it's not because everyone is that much better. It's because there's that much bigger of an audience. So let me say I do love Casey's videos. I think he's amazing at what he does. 
but he sort of, I feel like he could have talked some people out of it. It will be hard, but it's no harder than it was back then. I would even venture to say it is easier now to make a living on YouTube than it was years before. So if you have any inclination to make a YouTube channel, you should do it because the odds are still against you. It's still going to be hard, but the odds are better than they ever have been. That's how I would edit what Casey said. And I hope if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, you do it. Thanks for watching Off The Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Hey, that's my outro. I was trying to do it. You look like a big old kindergartner now. I am a kindergartner. Yes, you are. Go!